Hi, this is It Came Cheap. It's where I take a look at a few products or items that I found at prices on the low low. Today, I'm going to do a bit of a backlog. Um, I'm going to just show you a few toys that I picked up at Dirt Cheap um, a while back and I just never got around to making a video with them. So it's just a few. Let's check them out. Alright, we got Dojo Battle. Dojo Battle. Alright, I'm gonna have to lift this guy up. Alright, we've got Dojo Battle. I can see this being a lot of fun. I just, I will have to find a friend to play with. So I'll have to make a friend first. But I can see this being fun. Now, we had Nerf fencing, and it was like this foam sword, and around the sword, by the handle, it had four flaps that would uh, go in, and you had to poke the foam sword into those flaps. And we had a lot of fun with those until they broke. This has the potential to be even better than that if it works okay. So... So, who wants to be my friend in battle in the dojo? All right. All right, up next. Now, I mean, this is actually good shape for dirt cheap. So it wasn't like super, super discounted. I think it was like 12 or 13, like half off. But you've got two, you've got two bumper cars and you have uh, two remotes. And then when they bump into each other, I've actually seen these, it's kind of neat. When they bump into each other, one of the seats, one of the guys will eject out of his seat. So you can kind of have a battle with these little RC bumper cars. So that is pretty neat. I kind of like it. Again, I need to make a friend and hopefully, uh, you know, they'll play with me some bumper cars. Okay. Up next, all right, I ended up picking up just two of these uh, Google Google Home Minis. Price was right. I think the regular price on these was 50, but you see them discounted all the time. Well, at Dirt Cheap, they had these brand new ones, and uh, I believe 80% off, and they were uh, $9 each. So I just couldn't pass it up. $9 each, Google Assistant. I've got... Um, another one that I don't want to set off right now that starts with an A, but I don't know. Maybe I'll try to match up A versus Google Assistant. So, good times. All right, now this box was in good shape and I hadn't seen a skate, I saw a BMX version of these like tech decks, but I, ne I never saw the little skateboard version. And the regular price on it isn't even that much. So even, I think it might have been half off. It was like seven bucks. But I always kind of wanted these. When I was young, I used to be into skateboarding around the middle school time. And, you know, at school, we didn't skateboard at school, of course. But we would make little uh, skateboard decks out of our notebooks, you know, out of the notebook covers. And, you know, we'd play with them on our chair. And always thought they should have something like this and eventually they came out with this type of a uh, mini skateboard and I think people actually get good with it but always kind of wanted one of these and saw it at dirt cheap it seemed to be unopened skater dude not any kind of poser man I'm no poser I can I can bust a kickflip finally we have these I ended up buying the same set twice. This one seemed to be like unopened and okay. But the main thing, great. I think I'm missing a leg too. But it's a good thing I got another one. Well, anyway, the main thing is the rocket stand. Let's see if this will, how does this, let's see. Uh, the piece broke off. Okay, I kind of got gypped on this one. But, it's a good thing I got a backup. If you had nothing else, you could use this, but... Oh, come on now. 
But it's a good thing I got a backup. Good that I had a detonator. But this is some trash, man. This is some trash, man. So the main thing is you got your detonator and your launch pad. That's all you need. Because you can make the rockets and you buy the rocket engine separately. All right. So this was all that was pretty much salvageable out of the rocket set that I got. Um, it was missing a third leg there, so I pieced together that. So we got a launch rod and we have the detonator. And that's all you really need. Oh, and I also, I, I've had these in my man cave for a while. Some clearance, clearance rocket engines. So let's hope they still work. They tell you how to cheaply and easily build some disposable rockets. It really is simple. surface you just hook your little clamps up and we're ready for takeoff booyah